My name is Mark Zondlo, and my head is in the clouds. I'm measuring water vapor on the vertical cavity surface emitting laser hygrometer. In a 21st century version of Captain Cook's historic voyage, we are exploring the atmosphere from pole to pole in a flying laboratory. We porpoise through the skies taking readings from 14 kilometers high to just above the sea ice. This National Science Foundation project called Hyper Pole to Pole Observations will give us the most comprehensive picture yet of greenhouse gases and how they affect climate. Our journey includes Alaska, the Arctic, Hawaii, the Cook Islands, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Why clouds? They can warm the earth, they can cool the earth, but we don't know how they form, and water vapor holds the key. In discussions about global warming, carbon dioxide and methane get all of the attention, but water vapor impacts climate more than any other gas. We've invented a laser-based sensor that measures water vapor throughout the atmosphere. What's neat about it is that it actually sticks outside the aircraft and allows for real-time, precise, and pristine measurements. And it's plug-and-play. While we circle the globe, Princeton graduate student Ming-Wei Dao analyzes the data in real time. What we are finding is surprising. Large plumes of water vapor exist in areas we never expected to find them. Learning how this fits into the puzzle is crucial for predicting climate and making smart policy decisions. The atmosphere is perhaps Earth's last frontier.